M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. HRI 200 box. Let's get it connected to our FTM radio. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got our WiresX HRI 200 box and we, we're looking at the back of the FTM 300. Now I would say the connection on the back of the FTM 300 is the same as the FTM 400, so it will cover that as well. Uh, so let's have a nice close look here, see if we get some decent light on it. So if you look here, you've got a 10 pin plug, okay? There you are, 10 pin plug. In the box of the HRI 200, you've got a 10 pin plug, and it's 10 pin at both ends. One end goes into the HRI box, which I will show you, and the other end goes here. Now, if you've got an older FM analog radio, one end could be six pin. And so this enables you to still use the WireZX system, um, but going in using FM analog, which is quite handy if you've got an old radio. You can put an antenna on, but remember that affects your licensing conditions. So a lot of people end up having to fit a, uh, a dummy load. Right, let's grab the WireZX box. So here's our WireZX box. We've got a USB cable that comes from here and that will go into our PC. And the one that comes has ferrite rings built into it. So that's good for screening. And then in the box, you get one lead with two gray pins. And these are the 10 pin ones. I'm not sure how clear that shows, but they are. Take it from me, they're 10 pin. And they, one will fit into it. We'll put it in radio one first. And you can have a second radio. I'm not sure how that will work, so I've never done that. And you can plug headphones into here as well, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, let's plug in the grey one. Now you want to get this the right way around. Look at the top here. You've got two pins, then a space, then a pin. Now you want to make sure you get that, you know, the same. So look, it's the see the the indented bit there. You need to get it make the indented bit with the two pins and the space okay that's we're gonna go in I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way but it's quite hard to do I'm gonna go in that way <laughs> I'll try and do it like so now you definitely don't want to get it right if it doesn't go in easy pull it out again so I just put that in there started it and if it doesn't go in easy take it out so that went in easy Okay, and the same goes for the back of the uh, radio of the FTM 300 or 400 and other radio. If you look here, see it there? I'm trying to shine a torch, but you've got two pins, then a space, then a pin. So we're gonna, it's in the same, it's the same way round as the other one. So let's just do that. My, mind you, saying that this radio is upside down, so. Uh, if it was the top end of the radio, you've got three pins together if you're, if you're looking from the top. So let's get that in there. Okay, so we're fully connected here. Fully connected here. Remember, if you had an FM radio, you would just use a different lead at one end. The six pin one looks like this. Not sure how clear that is, but one end is 10 pin and the other end is six. So some radios have six pin, which, which is pretty handy. Okay, so that's about it really for connection. Now obviously you're gonna to need to power it. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. At this point you would have already registered with WiseX and I've got a separate video on that which I'll link. And you would have received your room and node number which is linked to the serial number of your HRI box. I'll just show you what that looks, the HRI box looks from the front. So what you would then do is run the driver, the HRI driver, which is in, in the, the link that they send you when you register, run that. The top one says um, HRI 200 driver, then the bottom one says WireZX software. Click WireZX software, and then that's like the first time install. So when you do the first time install is when you enter your room and node number, probably not your call sign, and when you hit enter, it's all gonna connect. Now when this box is plugged in, the power goes green and it is powered by the USB cable. So that's it. I just thought I'd show you a close up view of uh, connecting the WireZX HRI 200 box to your radio and computer. And the idea is you 
with the correct leads, you can have FM going in and digital going in, uh, and then you're in the Wirex system. Why use the Wirex system? Because you get the full system. You can use hotspots to get into YSF and C4FM and all that, and it's very good, open spot three, jumbo hotspot, zoom spot, all that, but it's not the full system. That's why I, I, I think that having the box is worthwhile. But saying that, I'm still waiting for my node number so I can get this one up and running. Um, so remember, you've got ports to open on your router as well when you're doing this. And those ports are numbers uh, 46100, 122, 100, 110, 114, 120, and, and they're all starting with uh, 46, and they are UDP ports. And I've done a separate video on that. So 73, hope this helps you. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.